trash, trash. Hello friends, today I am at Trader Baker's in Seymour, Indiana. Trader Baker's is an indoor vendor mall and it's one of my very favorite places to go in the whole wide world. I'm just gonna go say, say that now. So let's go in and see what we can find today. These. Oh, cheese. It's a cheese shaker. Sprinkle cheese. Yeah, it's a cheese shaker. Oh, made in Japan luster. It's $3.99. There's a mark. What's going on here? Why is that guy sitting on that boat? They're all falling out of their boat. Some sand art. Here's an Empoli decanter for $6.99, so I think I'm going to get that. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, well, I got this. We'll put this in the cart. Oh, it's my mascot. I have to get him. I love him. It's Forky. Trash. Trash. Oh, good eye, Mark. So, I don't think they're got a name on them. These not Bascals, I'm gonna say they are a dollar fifty each and they're in a really pretty rough shape. <coughs> See they don't even they're kind of wobbly. Gotta look up a bit high. High and low. Here's Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for 50 cents. It's federal glass. You can see the F and the shield. I don't know how old it is, but for 50 cents, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Do I have any South Carolina people? I'll get it for 50 cents. Mm, Kentucky Derby glasses. They're not really any good unless you get the ones that are from the 60s and earlier. They're so mass produced. Um, what are these? I'm catching up. Stop weaving. I think he's drunk. I think that he's drunk and he's he's catching up. That's my guess. More man's. Not, not a merman, but a more. Mormon? No. More oh. man's. Mormons. Those are pretty color. Yeah, pretty color. Susanna. Oh, Susanna. Hey, those looks familiar. Yeah, I see those a lot. Yeah, we've seen them probably four of them this season. Now this is an old Bambi set. It's got your brush, your soap holder, your other brush, your comb, and your toothbrush holder. It's three dollars, but I just don't get nursery items. Look, the dealer's choice. Wheeling and dealing car game. Card. No, car. Card game. Welcome to the nut house. Where everyone's very nutty. Okay, so I've bought some linens in here before. And look, this is how they were when I came here. Don't yell at me for not folding them. But I want to say that I've got a lot of the ones that had animals on them. The ones that I was looking for. Hankies, doilies, doilies. I think when I was in here last, I think I got. And honestly, I don't need any more. Well, these are as is. They're seven dollars and fifty cents. Looks like they've got quite a bit of chipping around them. That one's twenty dollars. It must be in better shape. Oh, 
Motel, Motel, Holiday Inn. Oh, it's broken. That's a cute little spoon rest with a little tulip on it. As is for a dollar. Nine dollars and fifty cents. It's cute. It's got its insert too. A little mustard dish. Hand painted. There's a not very happy child in here. I feel it's pain because that's how I was when my parents made me go to these kinds of places. As a child. I mean, I like it now. But I didn't then. Well. I only found one thing so far. Hmm. I don't normally come on a Saturday. And I've been here before. It's a little people-y. And I like to come when it's not people-y. If I can help it. Not old. It's a hooter. It is a hooter, but it's not. You are correct, it is a hooter. Oh, what are you? You're a little bunny. Oh, you're not, you're not old either. Now that is a big Hager mauve agate. $24.95. But my word, it's got some dings on it. Royal Hager Mob Agate. It's a big one. Big one. I really like this canister. It's $25. That's just really nice. This green glass. It's a little much than that I want to pay, but it is cool. I do like it. Oh, another set of heaters. They're new heaters, though. We only like old heaters. I have these at home. There's Emma and Jaden. Penny a kiss, a penny a hug. Put your money in the little brown jug. It's a bike. It's plastic though. Oh, this is a cute little toaster. How much are you? Five dollars. I think that that's adorable. I'm getting that. I like it. I also saw this little receipt. Spike. Ooh, it's $25. Ooh, get. Yeah, we'll get the $5 toaster. Here's some squirrels. $5. I will get those too. Squirrel. Squirrels. This is Bohemian, Bohemian Crystal. Let's see. What's, ooh, this is a cool radio. Does not play for ten dollars. I'm really kind of getting into these old radios. I want to make a big display. I don't know about that one. What on earth is this? It's an insulator. Huh. Well, there's an old alcohol bottle. That's a purple alcohol. It's a neat, it's a neat bottle. This, this, there's some old cassette tapes, but this is two dollars. I really like the color of it, and I like the shape of it. It doesn't have any flaws. So I'm gonna get that little planter. It's a cowboy plate. Oh, it's got a chip. I'm gonna get that. Horse thieves. Here we have Oklahoma. Kentucky. And the rest are just kind of platters, but oh, we have some more down here. California knows how to party. I'm gonna get that for a dollar. Oh, look at these Life magazines. They're a dollar. Skateboards. Wow, look at her. She's on the skateboard. Hmm. Who are you? Oh, Aldi Stevenson. I still don't know who he is. Bible. Hmm. Pope 
Paul. Pope John Paul. So thinking about, I'm thinking about getting this cute little lemon. It is a Nesco. It's two dollars. I'm just gonna check it over. It's a little sugar. It's got one little boo boo right there though. So I'm like some decanters. What else did I see? I saw some of oh, this little beehive bowl. Oh, it's got a big crack. Hmm. I have so many bottles. I don't need to buy any more bottles. Oh my. Okay. That is a bootleg. Okay, what is this? Handmade vintage yellow fish paperweight. Okay. I don't quite know. This was a little disturbing. It's a horse coming out of being hatched out of an egg. It's poly resin and they want nine dollars for it. Different. That's different. Well, hello friends and welcome to the haul portion of today's video. I have to be honest, I didn't get a whole heck of a lot. Um, it was kind of slim pickings in Trader Baker's down in Seymour that day. Um, typically I do pretty well in there, but you know, you, you can't always have, you know, home runs when you go outsourcing. But let me show you the things that I did pick up. I picked up this bowl and it, I believe that it is McCoy. Again, I'm always drawn to the color of things a lot. It was $3, which is a great price. And it says, to man's best friend, his dog, all the way around it. It's a vintage pottery piece. The price was right. This is just a glazing flaw up here with a glaze just didn't get all the way around. But a really nice bowl. And I actually use, I have vintage uh, dog bowls that I use for my dogs as well. So you, you, you know, you can put your dog's food in water and that and still look, you know, make it blend in with the rest of your vintage home. I got this really pretty lime green planter and it is this really kind of a really neat organic shape with this lime green and white drip glaze. I like that it had this little, this little stand on the bottom. Now these planters can be used for other things besides plants. You know, if you collect postcards or photographs, you can put them in here. You can put bath salts in here. You can put bath bombs, soaps. You know, you can use this for a lot of other things besides just being a planter. And it's very clean on the inside as well. Now, I got this little, uh, this little celluloid baby. Now, her face is a little, it's a little smashed in, I'm not going to lie, but she's got some awesome finger waves on her hair. Yes, she does. And her arms are just kind of flopping around there. But I, oh, put your clothes on, girl. I really like her. I paid $4 for her, which, you know, is, is you know, a little, it's probably about retail for her. But she's going in my collection. Uh, ooh. Ooh, it's a good thing your arm was still attached, girl. I about dropped you flat on your face. But I like that she's got the, her clothes on. And by clothes, it's just like a little um, cape with her painted on shorts. But she's not naked. Most of mine are naked, but she will be a special one that will be clothed on my shelf. Which, by the way, my shelf is, is, is getting pretty full. I'll put a picture right here of, it's a work in progress, but you know, you can see, you can see the look that I'm going for with my babies. Okay. I got this. This was 50 cents and it's made by Federal Glass. It's got that F with the shield in it. Let's see there. It's kind of picking it up there. There we go. But it is Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Where's my South Carolina people at? Leave me, leave me some comments if you are a South Carolinian. Is that the way you say it? Either now or you maybe were born there. But 50 cents for this really cute souvenir glass. I just like these. And some people do collect these. And they'll have like every place they've traveled. They'll get one of these little they, or they've gotten one of these guys. This one is vintage. Look at the man and the woman. Ooh, they're just running on up before that marlin gets them. They better hurry, get to the beach. But there's golf and a surfer and a fisherman. And look at that old camper. My grandpa used to have a camper shell in the back of his truck like, like that. I used to always think it was the neatest thing. I think that this might be Rio Hondo, possibly, not quite sure. Although it could be Shawnee too. I don't know. I haven't done any research on this. And a lot of times they can look very, very similar. 
Real Hondo is pretty good about putting the eyelashes on there like that. And this is a creamer. It's a cow creamer. But you know, you'd probably, I would probably use it as a little thing for my air plants. But the way that this is designed, the tail right here is the handle. And the mouth, you know, you can pour your cream or your milk or whatever in your coffee. But look, she's got a little pink bow. She's got lots of crazing, which I like. But a cute little, cute little cow. Little vintage pink cow. And then I got these ever so lovely i thought said skunk but you're not skunks you're squirrels the squirrel salt and pepper shakers are just hanging on their branch see this is just fun have a salt and pepper shaker like this no oh do you need some salt oh let me get this squirrel here and i'll dump it the salt out of his head oh you need some pepper well let's take this buddy off of that side and just hang them back on there just a fun little kitschy piece uh, it's made in Japan. The stoppers are in both of the squirrels. So if you want to use them, you can. You can use these little squirrels on your table. And they're in excellent condition. All right. I got this cup. And it is adorable. First of all, I mean, I'm not hating on it too much that there's a somewhat looking clown right in that train. I'm not going to hold that against them because look at the handle of this mug. It has a built-in straw. So there's a hole inside here and you can suck your milk or suck whatever drink it is that you're drinking out of this cup out of the elephant's nose. I paid $4.99. It says that's a good boy cup with straw handle. And it says in parentheses that it is old. Just in case you we're wondering but it does have a lot of um crazing on it so when you're drinking your milk and your little your little toddler your little child is just slurping their little milk away if they get all of their milk drunk that's a good boy that's a good boy and there's a little surprise bear in there isn't that adorable oh i love this so much it's so stinking cute i don't know what that is Oh, it's a train. It's a train thing because that's a train on there. So it's the train arms for the train track. But this is in really nice condition. Again, it does have lots of crazing on it, which I really like. But a fun piece. I just love that so much. It was $4.99, which is a lot to pay for a mug. But that's a special. Don't you think that this is a special mug? I think that it is. Well, and speaking of good boys... I got this little guy. Now he, he was, um, how much were you? $7.99, but he came with the little plant. So that's good. But look at that face. He is not happy. Now this is not a chip up here. This is the part of the tag that I need to take off, but he is not happy. I am not happy. I don't like having this plant out of my head, but he's got a little blue baseball hat on. I think that he is a home pottery piece. He's painted in someone's home. He does have a little bit of a chip there on the underneath on the back, so you can't really tell. But I think that this is cute. It's a little, this is what I mean. You know, you can put little, little plants in there and they just look so fun. So I picked that up. $7.99 is a little much, but you could, you got, I got the plant with it. So I, not sure. I probably will. I don't know how I'm going to sell this with the plant in it, but maybe I'll just have to repurpose the plant because I don't know that the plant will make it in shipment in the dirt. So I'm probably going to repurpose the plant and then let the new owner you know, plant something that they would like in his head. All right, just two more items. That's it. Just two more things. The first thing is this cute American bisque. I want to say you are a lamb. I think you're a lamb. But he's going over the bridge or kind of, I thought it was the pyramids there for a minute. He's like, he's going over the pyramids or the Incas. He's an Incan lamb. He's going over the ruins. And the, it, I don't know. That's just what it looks like to me, doesn't it? 
I don't know what that is, but he's fun. He's frolicking over it, whatever it is, and he's a giant. So it's either, either he is a great big lamb, or this is just a very small little bridge that he's going over. I don't quite know, but it is American Bisque. It's in excellent condition, very softly painted, nice little planter. It's a shallow planter too. So, you know, a little air, a little plant like that would look, would look good. Now, this is not an air plant because there's dirt in there. So that, that's not an air plant. Now, one of my favorite things that I got at, on, at Trader Baker's on this day was this cute little poodle planter. It's a poodle and she's pulling her cart and she doesn't care what you think. <laughs> pulling my cart. Isn't this so cute? I believe that this is probably American Bisque as well. Possibly. We'll see what we can find on it. It's saying, it's saying American Bisque to me, but you know, sometimes we don't know until we, until we do a little bit of research, but she's in great condition. It does have this little crack in here, which I believe is a manufacturing flaw because it looks like the glaze is down in that crack there and it's not all the way through. So a really cute little poodle planter. She's so snooty and she's got... It's kind of weird though because you could pour, pour something out of her mouth i guess if you wanted to or maybe that's just a way for the air to get through the plant i don't know but it's kind of bizarre that she's got a hole in her mouth it does go all the way through there so i don't know i don't know if she had a different purpose besides being a planter but she's still very cute and that's it that was my haul from trader bakers i hope that you enjoyed the shop with me video we have a lot of fun when we go in there I, you know, Mark and Emma weren't really crazy about being there in the first place. They were kind of ready to go home. So it was kind of a quick trip in there. We went on a Saturday. I don't normally go on a Saturday. I honestly don't recommend that you go on a Saturday. I like going during the week when it's not as busy. Uh, but, you know, and I think that, I think that going in there during a non-weekend day Actually, we went, we went in there on a Sunday. We were there on a Sunday, and I don't highly recommend that you go in there on the weekends because it's it's quite busy. And if you go in during the week, I think that you have a more of a chance to be able to find some treasures. And the weekend is very busy and things get bought up, but make sure that you do go out and check out Trader Baker's down in Seymour, Indiana. And it, we had a lot of fun as we always do. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I hope that you are subscribed to my channel, but if not, you can still go ahead and subscribe right now. All you got to do is hit that button. And if you are subscribed, make sure that you share my channel with your friends, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.